Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and today I'm going to talk about Blood Paradise, which is an art exploitation film now available on DVD, Blu ray, and VOD in North America. This is a Swedish American horror film. I believe it's from 2018. It centers around an author named Robin who is very, very well known, very prolific, has a lot of good titles under her belt. However, the last book she had actually made people, like it was a public outroar of how disgusting and how bad this book actually was. So her publicist very strongly suggests that she go to a farm in Sweden to kind of collect her thoughts center herself and actually come up with some good content. The publisher kind of, you know, says, well, I have a child in private school. We both need money, so you really need to do this. So Robin does decide to go to the farm. Her boyfriend kind of mulls it over a little bit and decides that he does want to join her there as well. She's picked up by Hans, her driver, who is very, very scatterbrained. We find out he's a really, really big fan of hers, has her sign several copies of her book for him, and he drops her off at the farm. There is a lot of, like, creep factor to him. He also verbalizes that her last book was subpar, and it was not Robin, to which she replied, well, I wrote it, and he goes, I understand, but it was not you. Farm is hella creepy. We get greeted by the son who unapologetically just flips off the car right to Robin's face. I kind of, I kind of liked that part. And we meet the farmer whose name evades me, but very strange. We find out that his wife has recently passed away and she is buried in the garden. She can see where she's buried from her room out the window, which is great. There's a beautiful little cat sitting on her grave, which I appreciated. We then learn that there's also a sister living on the farm who seems more than a little bit off, and it just kind of gets weirder from there. We await, await the arrival of Todd, the boyfriend, and things get stranger and stranger. Does she end up writing the next great American novel or Swedish novel? You gotta watch to find out. I'm gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? I liked that there were little subtle hints of humor in there. Nothing, you know, no dick and fart jokes, but more so like a little snicker here and there, which was good to break it up. I like that they didn't portray the author as something she wasn't. You kind of knew from the start. She's a little, you know, she, she's very, very rich and she kind of, sneers out a lot of things, but also it's a big jump from, you know, living in a very nice large house to going to a farm where there's an outhouse, there's an outside shower. So you, you kind of do understand the culture shock. I liked that, uh, the scenery was so gorgeous. The way it was shot was beautiful. I felt like the soundtrack was very fitting. I liked the themes in it. Also, the gore. There's not a lot of gore, but the gore they do have is actually pretty good. It was a bit hard to see. I had to get a little bit closer, but when I could focus on it, it was wonderful. My dislikes. The pacing of this movie, I think it's about an hour long. The pacing was a little off for me. It was a little bit slow. It did seem like it is a slow burn type of movie. I believe it was about 45 minutes in till we actually got a kill. With this being touted as a horror movie, mama needs that faster because I don't have a long attention span. However, it was worth it. I felt like, you know, the gore did pay off. I felt like the story did have a large twist in it that I was not expecting. And I wasn't sure if it was going to go as like a reanimation type scenario or something else, or it was maybe another character pretending to be another character. You got to watch it to know what I mean. Bonus. I don't know if this is a like or a dislike, but I think I've been braiding my hair backwards literally all of my life because the one character, the sister is braiding and I'm just watching her going, I went to school for hair. 
And I think I've been braiding backwards my entire life. So that gave me a lot to think about. But I would rate this movie, I'd say, like a three out of five. Didn't have a lot of a, a lot of kills. There was some stuff I felt that was a little bit unnecessary, but it was a pretty decent time watching it. I do have a, another thing that bothered me. I don't know if it's so much a dislike, but there are great parts of this movie that are all in Swedish. No subtitles on the material I watched it on, so I kind of had to infer from what was going on in the scene what they were talking about. Doing a complete disservice to the large portion of my heritage that is Swedish, I don't know any Swedish. I kind of just read things off of people's body language and the fact that when uh, Hans and his wife were in the presence of Robin, at one point his wife did speak English and called her a whore, which was funny. She had balls. I liked that. So maybe the Blu-ray and DVD do have subtitles, which would be super duper, and I'd love to know what I missed. But as I said, this is now streaming. This is available on physical copy if you are interested. Have you seen this movie? There is a trailer out right now that you can find on YouTube. We could link that in the description. Um, leave me some comments. Like the video if you did like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and my solo and reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please check out all of their creators for some more awesome content as well. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!